Hello everyone, today we're going to learn uh, some vocabulary. Um, so I want to talk to you about the gender. Because yes, in Arabic we have gender for the nouns. And it might be feminine, it might be uh, masculine, and it might be neutral. Uh, and there are some signs that can help you uh, to decide what is the gender of the word. And basically, um, you can identify the feminine words, so you can exclude exclude the um, the masculine ones. So let's start with uh, some random words for example here we have this word tufaha uh -huh. tufaha yeah tufaha tufaha means means apple of course an apple but as I said before, we have nothing equal to an in Arabic. You just say the word without without al. Al means the. Um, so here is the first sign of uh, gender, which is ta. A ta al marbuta, or the closed ta. And actually, a ta al marbuta literally means. Uh, the tied uh, te because it seems like this is te as if you just pull is um, two sides <laughs> then it becomes like this so it's called actually tied te um, ah, anyways so this is the first sign the te at the end of the word the te and marbuta at the end of the word means uh, that it's um, it's a feminine again here this is shajara shajara means tree or a tree so again this is ta so the word is feminine here we can say madrasa Madrasa means school or a school. Again, this is a ta. So this is the first sign of femininity. There are um, two other signs, but this is the most common, the most used in uh, words and nouns. Um, the other sign is, is mostly used in girls' names, for example, or adjectives. Here is the word Salma. Salma actually is a um, girl name. It's very uh, common, you know, Salma Haik. So, yeah, uh, this is um, called Al Alif Al Maqsura. And I've said, I've talked about that before. Alif has uh, another version which is this. This is Aleph and this is Aleph. But this Aleph is called the shortened. Shortened Aleph. Okay? Because it's not very long. Uh, let, so you don't say Salma. No, you say Salma. And just still pray it away. Uh, the other sign is the elongated Aleph. Or Al Alif Al Mamduda. This again is a word which means a beautiful girl. Beautiful girl or woman. Hasna. So it can be adjective and it's also um, girl name. Hasna. This is called Al Alif Al Mamduda. Alif and then Hamza. Hasna. We don't say hasna, no hasna. Okay, so the first sign is ta al marbuta, 
أز تفاحة شجرة مدرسة الألف المقصورة which means the shortened okay so like Salma and حسنة which is called الألف الممدودة uh, means elongated elongated ألف okay you don't have to memorize uh, the, um, the name of this alif or this alif, okay? No, you just know it. If you want to know, that's okay, that's very good. But it, it doesn't matter. Even our people don't know what this alif called, okay? We just know it's a sign of femininity. So let's give you some examples of, um, for example, um, masculine words, for example, here we have the word maktab. Okay, maktab means disc or a disc, and as you see, there is no ta, there is no alif maksura, there is no alif mamduda, so it's masculine. We have here uh, the word qalam, qalam means pen. Or a pen, okay. So there is no ta again. There is no alif maksura. There is no alif mamduda. So uh, it's masculine. Uh, some neutral uh, words as uh, tariq. Tariq actually means way or road. And sometimes in Arabic it's used as a masculine and sometimes it's used uh, as a feminine word. So, but it's more uh, like more common as um, a masculine one. Okay. So, um, that these words were so random, but I want to show you that in Arabic we have a gender. The word might be feminine, the word might be masculine, it might be neutral. Um, by neutral, it's not neutral. It's, it's, I mean, it can be that. It can it can be feminine. It can be masculine. Um, okay. So, for example, here we have tufaha. So we have known the first sign is ta. We have salma. The second uh, sign is al alif al or shortened alif. Then we have hasna al alif al mamduda elongated alif alif hamza, and we have here. Uh, masculine words like maktab and qalam uh, and neutral words like uh, tariq which can be feminine or masculine so I'll see you again in more focused uh, vocabularies but um, yes I will make yeah, like videos of vocabularies to be in one topic but the topic of today was to differentiate between the genders. I hope that was clear and easy. If you have any questions, I'm ready to answer. So goodbye for now.